Hello, my name is Mooncat and welcome back to the beta server where we are checking out the new PvP arena which was announced just yesterday. I haven't checked it out yet so I'll be very interested to see what's new, how it differs, because the last one was quite disappointing. Although personally I thought it was quite fine, it was an innocent feature but uh, there's new stuff now apparently so let's check it out together. Let's see what's new and let's see how it works. So let's have a look at the announcement first before we jump in game. So the PvP Arena returns January 25th, 25th <laughs> 2021. Uh, so today it's already out, so I'll check it out in game in a little bit. So what's new? In this announcement, we'll be describing the main changes applied to the PvP Arena. All right. Uh, I don't think I'll go over the old PvP Arena, but... Uh, yeah, if uh, you played on beta back then, or on the international server, I believe they trialed it on, so I got the chance to play it there, but yeah, I no, don't think I'll go over that, we'll see how it works now. So first thing, as uh, soon as you click in the PvP arena, soft-grid building, you will be required to set up your defending army, alright? Then you will have some windows, a battle window, a ranking window. Uh, all right, so this this one seems quite similar at least. So battle tab. Now we have only two tabs instead of three, as the logs are moved to the right column. All right, I uh, don't really care about the logs, but okay. In the battle tab, you can see all information related to your available opponents. While the ranking tab will show you all your progress details. Okay, this the battle window looks quite similar, I think, where you have uh, some different opponents you can choose from. You have some attempts and so on, so I think that's quite similar. Refresh button can be used for free, okay. Two hour cooldown, so you can refresh your opponent. I believe that's new. I don't think that was a thing last time. Uh, this can be refreshed with diamonds as well, okay. Of course they would add that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we can get the same opponents when you refresh, that's interesting. I'm assuming they just rerun the matching algorithm and they they don't uh, take into account your previous opponents. I imagine that's what they do. Uh, progress bar at the bottom right corner, showing your progress towards the seasonal reward. Okay, that's new. That's quite quite interesting. Let's see if they write more about that. Okay, so ranking tab uh, entirely reworked. Okay, so that seems to be the main thing they changed. Uh, the upper part will show your personal ranking, seasonal. Okay. You can climb up leagues by winning battles, only active ones when attacking another player. Okay. Uh, increasing rewards you will see as well. The golden bar shows your position in the last season. So that's this, I'm assuming. Yeah, last season. Green check marks will display blah, 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 blah. Okay, so which chest do you have? Uh, how often are these? Da, 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 da. Okay, resets first, uh, every first day of the month. Okay, so that's cool. So we have a monthly thing here where you. Uh, Grab points for your battles, as you can see here. This battle would give you 400 points, and then you slowly work your way, hopefully up to 100,000 points. That's the goal. I'm not sure how achievable that is, but that's interesting. Okay. The lower part displays your weekly rankings and the rewards you can obtain from global rankings. So I'm assuming that's the same rewards as last year, uh, last last uh, version, and then these are some new rewards, I'm assuming. Uh, besides that, now you can also check how your rank compared to other players from the same era. Okay, that's cool. And from your guild. Okay, that's also cool. Uh, please keep in mind that the age and guild rankings resets. Okay. While the global ranking combat points decay every Monday. Okay. Not quite sure why these would be different, but uh, I'm assuming there's a logic behind it. I guess it's perhaps to show how recent, uh, how the recent performance of people are, but this is the actual, the actual performance, the long-term uh, performance. Okay. Also, you will lose part of your global ranking upon leaving the PvP arena. What? Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. Does that mean, does that, mean that when you leave the window, you lose some ranking points? That can't be right. Hmm, I don't know. Perhaps if you decide not to take part in the arena anymore, you'll lose points, perhaps. I don't know. As well as all CP for every other PvP arena ranking. Um, I don't know. 
don't quite understand what that's about. Okay, so rewards. Three different ways to grab rewards. Okay, personal reward, win battles to reach higher leagues every season. So that's the seasonal rewards here. We'll check in game what those are. Uh, random rewards. Upon winning or losing a battle, now there's a chance to receive battle reward. Okay, that's cool. Hopefully that's uh, some good ones. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably quite quite similar to uh, guild battlegrounds, I imagine. And global rewards. These are related to your global ranking for the week. Okay, so that's I'm, I assume this is the rewards they had last time, but now they have added two new rewards. So that's very nice. Matchmaking. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Matchmaking features. Okay, they have balanced those. The area conditions for the list of opponents you can find. Okay. So hard opponents can be up to three ages higher than you. Medium. Okay, it's the same age. And one age lower. Okay. I wonder how that works for people in the last age, but uh, that's that's cool. Uh, guild members and other players from your friend list cannot appear. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, this might be um, quite important for the top players. Uh, they might actually perhaps even want to remove high-ranking friends and fight against them, because I'm assuming they will give more points. That'll be interesting to see how that will impact uh, at least high-ranking high players. Anyways, enough of this, let's move over to the game and let's see how it works there. So, uh, da, 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 da. let's just play now. So first I think you need... Uh, yeah, you need to select some defending units. And, uh, okay, so you can't use the same here. I don't really have a lot of units. That, um, I don't know, I guess I'll do something like this. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm <laughs> probably not going to fight a lot on my beta server. Okay, so... Here we have a few battles. You can see the defense points, uh, or the defending boost, so that's interesting. That's the same as last year, I think. So I'm in industrial. Progressive era, I imagine I'm not able to beat that army. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly... Ah, you can manually, can you? I thought these were... I thought these fights were... were always... Uh, always automatic. Always auto-battle. Uh, but perhaps that's new. Um, let's see, does it say anything about the fights? Okay, so... Uh, your army, the attack and defense boost for your... Da -da 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 -da. As soon as you fight against your opponent, you attack his defending armory. You can see its boosts in the battle. Can you... I wonder if you can... I'm interested to see if you can uh, surrender when you first fight. Because I really don't want to lose my rogues. But I think I'll give it a go, and hopefully I'm able to surrender. I am able to surrender, okay. But I'll give it a go anyway. But let's look at the ranking. Okay, so here we see the rewards. Really? Well, that's disappointing. 30 forge points. That can't be it, surely. Is that it? That's terrible. Um, five attempts. Okay, so I'm assuming you get these as you pass them. But still... One of each unit. Is that really it? I was hoping some you know, some cool stuff. I don't know maybe a maybe a rogue den kit, for example, so you could get that or sell it to the antiques dealer or I don't know, perhaps even a unique building to the PvP arena. Or you could get the upgrade kits from here or something like that, but really, that's really disappointing. I have to I have to say so. A single one up kit. Some fort points and some goods. That's I don't know. I'm dis disappointed, to be honest. I would have thought it was better than that. I really hope they change this, buff this, because that is terrible. That's terrible. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm disappointed. It, was, uh, it looks, looked very cool in the announcement, but I have to say, this is very disappointing. Surely they could have done better than this. It's a monthly thing. I mean, I'm not sure how difficult it is to get this many points, but still... 
even in GVG, which is a weekly thing, uh, uh, guild expedition, which is a weekly thing, you get way much, way more than this. That's terrible. Let's look at the global ranking. What do I get here? I get some attempts. I might, perhaps, if I'm lucky, get a rogue hideout. Some boosts, some pointless medals. I must say, this is very disappointing. It truly is. Hmm. And these, uh, these kind of look like they're the same as last year, or lo last last uh, version. Hmm. I would have hoped for, for some more. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And of course, my ranking is. Uh, I believe it seeds you based on your current on your uh, city ranking. And then you will slowly fall into your place based on uh, based on your fights and so on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I was hoping they would add some stuff to some cool stuff, but perhaps not. Let's refresh. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so 75 diamonds for additional refresh. Hmm. Here's the log they were talking about. I lost that battle, defending army, so you can change that if you want. I don't know, <laughs> I think I'll leave it there because I am kind of disappointed. I, I don't know, I would have wished for some more, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully they get some good feedback on the beta server that they would like these uh, prices to be better. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. This video took quite a turn when I saw the rewards there. I was excited. I'm not anymore. Now it kind of feels just like the last one. It was a cool concept, but the prices were terrible. It wasn't worth fighting for, really. And I don't think that has changed, sadly. So, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's more real, I said. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully they do make some changes. Hopefully they do make the rewards better. Let's cross our fingers. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the future.